Rachel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to level up your life and make yourself feel like the baddest bitch alive using Notion. Also going to show you how to customize your Notion pages in some really fun and aesthetic ways that I haven't seen in other YouTube videos. If you don't already know what Notion is, it's basically a fully customizable all-in-one digital workspace and planner that can be tailored to fit absolutely anyone's needs. You can customize it in every way possible so it's a lot a lot of fun to use. Y'all are going to scream when you see mine and I promise you it will make you more productive and motivated thank you so so much to notion for sponsoring this video and allowing y'all to sign up for free using the link in my description now if you're just getting started with notion I recommend you watch some of the basic tutorials linked in this video's description because this video is gonna be more about customization it does take a little while for you to completely get your notion pages the way that you want them but you get the hang of it just by playing around with the different options okay let's get into the video Welcome to my dashboard. As you can see, I've customized it quite a bit. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is add pictures and GIFs to your page. Let's start a new page. Let's call this one Goals. First thing I always do is add a cover and add an icon. It is randomized, but we're going to change it and make it cute. I have downloaded some pretty little covers from Pinterest, so that's what I'm going to use. It doesn't have to be an emoji, you can add GIFs to be your icon which shows up on this little sidebar right here. To do that we're going to go to the website Jiffy and you're going to search whatever you want. I'm going to search something cute like my melody. <gasps> so cute! Okay, which one should we use? This one is really really cute. What you need to do is right click copy image address we're going to go back to notion click on the emoji go to custom and we're going to paste the link and submit now you have your cute little gif as an icon you can see her on the sidebar right here and to add a photo let's find a photo from pinterest to use since this is our goals page let's find something motivating okay how about this one okay do the same thing, right click, copy image address, let's go back to goals. All we have to do is paste and then embed link. You can either click the plus sign or you can do the slash and go to image, resize it. We can move it around with these little six dots. If you type three dashes, it makes a line, a little divider. You can also change the justification, is that what it's called? Okay, we can make it on the left right here. Okay, next, let's go ahead and add a widget. On my dash, I have this clock widget, progress bar, and this countdown. Most of these are from the site called Indify. You create your widget, you customize it how you want it, and then you take this link right here, copy it to your clipboard, and go to create embed, and there is your widget. And so you can change the size. So the other widgets are the same way. The calendar, you can link to your Google calendars. I don't use Google calendars, so mine is blank, but I just like having a calendar on my dash. This other website that is really good for widgets is called Aption. You can even add like Spotify playlists. They have a really pretty aura clock, which I had on my page, but it doesn't have the date. It only has the time here. And you do the same thing, copy to clipboard and then bring it back to your page. This astrology widget right here is from an option. I will link it below and it is free. This widget does have a lot of cool features, but if you're interested in astrology at all and haven't gotten a birth chart reading yet, I suggest you do that. It's a really interesting and valuable experience because you can kind of gain more confidence by affirming your natural gifts and talents and also pinpoint like opportunities for growth. My twin sister is actually a professional astrologer and offers birth chart readings so if anyone is interested I will leave her link below and you can DM her. Her readings have helped so many people. Okay back to the video. <laughs> Also wanted to show you how to make a cute little memo. All you have to do is go to the plus sign and create a call out. As you can see, it just makes a little text box. To make it look like a little memo, you're just gonna shift and enter, and now it looks like a little post-it note. Hold your laundry tapes. It's also really fun to change the font. So to do that, you'll go to these three dots and Play around with your font. I really like this mono font. 
and play around with the width. I usually do full width, it's just personal preference. One thing that a lot of people don't know about, you can actually add a Google Chrome extension that has different themes. Just go to Google and type Notion theme, this site right here. Once you add that to Google Chrome, you're gonna go back to Notion and refresh. And then you can go to these little four squares right here and your themes will show up. I have this kawaii one, a very light pink, and then whenever I select something, it's dark pink. Okay, default is just white and gray like this. Very, very cute little touch. This also gives you a much wider range of fonts to choose from. Next, I'm going to show you the pages you should create to become closer and closer to meeting your highest self and becoming that bitch. The first page I would recommend making is a daily journal. I customized it and added little gifs for each month. Journaling daily has really, really helped me reduce my anxiety, raise my confidence, and just really transform my life. Getting into how to script like manifestation journals or doing future scripting like I do, that will have to be for another video because of time. The other side, I have daily tarot pulls and interpretations, but the girls that get it, get it. I won't go into that but daily journaling will 100% improve your life. Notion already has a daily journal template for free, so if you wanna add that template, just go here to templates, journal, use this template, and then it's on your Notion page. Another page I highly recommend you add is this page called Reminders because sometimes you just need that reminder that you are that bitch and that you have 100% unique qualities that absolutely no one else has. And I know that it's hard because you're you, so you forget that some of the qualities that you have other people don't have, you don't realize your strength. So if you have this kind of page and go to it every single day or most days or days where you're feeling down, it will 100% improve your life. After you add some fun GIFs and pictures from Pinterest, you need to add a list of two things, 50 things I love about myself and 50 things that make me happy. And I did this about a year ago in a, like, a written notebook. I haven't put it into my Notion yet. And I know you're thinking, 50 things? That's kind of a lot. I don't know if I can think of 50 things. I promise you, you can. It can be a mixture of physical traits, talents that you have, skills that you have. For example, I have a fat, good taste in music. You can do it. And 50 things that make me happy, this is the page you need to go back to when you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed, feeling like shit, where you just are not liking yourself very much. Pick a few things on your list to do on days where you're not feeling your best, you will feel so much better. Okay, stuff like this. Taking a bath, eating, choose it, my dog. So there's your reminders page. Also, I know we were fooling around making a goals page before, but I'm going to show you my goals page. When you have your goals written, typed out in front of you to see every day, it will just make you that much more motivated and bring you that much closer to actually reaching your goals. So this is just another template that I added from Notion and you can have these different categories and you can slide them over when you accomplish them. Recently, Jay and I just renewed our loan for this apartment. so. I was able to move that over to accomplish. You can have personal goals. You can also add another table with career goals or whatever other type of goals you have. I have some fun little creator goals right here. Yeah, let's 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 scroll back up to personal goals. Another page that is really helpful for you to add to level up your life is a page with your income and expenses. I had a lot of fun customizing this one on Pinterest. Underneath here, I have this table of income I've made for the year and I will also show you my expenses page. This is just a few of the basic bills that I have besides, besides the lash perm, health insurance, phone bill, guanlibi. Also recommend you add this page called a habit tracker which is also another free template on Notion. I added these really cute chips, little hula hooper because I love using my weighted hula hoop. That is my exercise of choice. You can absolutely add anything you want to these little categories and it's really satisfying just to check them off every single day. Now, this is the page you need to add if you want to get that feeling like you watch a really inspiring movie at the movie theater and you walk out of the theater like, I'm about to start a whole new life. I'm such a changed person. I'm a different person. 
you need to make yourself a mood board. Here is my mood board and the way I did that is embedding my Pinterest boards onto Notion. And y'all, I have yet to see anyone do this in all of the Notion videos I have watched. It took me so long to figure out how to do this because I couldn't find a tutorial. So you're gonna go to your Pinterest and you're gonna go to one of your boards. I'm going to add this hair inspo board. What you're gonna do is copy that URL. You're gonna go to Pinterest developers widget builder and you're going to paste the board URL here not finished yet you're going to copy this first code right here copy and we're going to go back to that site option that i showed you about go to diy embed url let's give it a name and we're going to paste that url but we're not finished we're not finished yet we need this bottom code so go back to pinterest developers copy the rest of the code down here at the bottom and where we're going to paste it is right here. So put your cursor right in front of this closing part and we're going to paste, generate URL, and here we have our embedded link. So we're going to copy that, go to Notion, paste, create embed. And we did it y'all, we embedded a board from Pinterest. We get a little bit bigger, we can fool around with where we want to put it. It's completely synced up with Pinterest. For example, look at this fashion inspo board right here and look at the last photo. Okay, we're gonna find some fashion inspo that we love. Pin it and then go back to our mood board, refresh. Any pin that you click, it will take you like to that pin, like this. We did it, that's all you have to do. that you personalize and customize your pages make them very you make them very motivating for you inspiring for you and fun the more you are going to find yourself using them and being more productive that much closer to becoming that bitch well you're already that bitch you just have to remind yourself okay this video is getting pretty long so let me know if you want any more notion videos maybe a full notion tour or if you want me to make y'all a template of my notion pages i would love to do that i would love to be of any help in motivating, inspiring anyone to become a better version of themselves, become more productive because you are the main character in your life and you need to be reminded of that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.